listen to this clip from neuroscientist Andrew Huberman. Then I'm going to share a piece of amazing scientific research into prayer's effects on the brain. I pray out loud in the morning, um, sometimes again in the middle of the night if I wake up. Mm -hmm. And um, and it's only recently that I've been doing this more often. It's giving you yeah. peace? Or? Oh, my goodness. It's given me so much. It's given me peace. And, you know, this is going to sound weird, and probably people are going to be like, what are you talking about? I feel this, it, it, it works. Mm -hmm. It works. Neuroscientist Andrew Newberg has observed that the parietal lobe, the part of the brain responsible for taking in sensory information, creating our sense of self and orienting us to the world, actually decreases in activity during prayer. He says that people lose their sense of self, feel a sense of oneness with the universe, a blurring of the boundary between self and other. Prayer scientifically results in a desire to be more loving toward the world and others. This is why we say that God is love because that's how we experience God through prayer.